Hello everyone, this is Morvalyra, she who bears the right of prima squitae, and today I'm bringing to you a much requested tutorial. Um, this is actually going to be two tutorials in one, two for the price of one. Um, I've been asked many times how to install my um, HD texture pack that I use, Pandoku Craft, um, and I've also been asked many times um, how I made the mob spawner in my um, update videos for Better Than Wolves. Um, today we're going to cover both of those things, starting with um, how to install the HD textures, um, as uh, well as install Better Than Wolves at the same time using the MC Patcher. Now the very first thing you need to do when um, you're getting ready to update or install is um, you need to back up your files. Um, sometimes if you just want to save, take care of your saves, that's great. I've got a lot of things in my jar that I uh, want to hold on to at the moment, so I'm just going to back up my entire Minecraft folder. And uh, I just have a little folder over here called uh, Minecraft Backup, and uh, Control C to copy it, and uh, Control V to place it where you want. And uh, since it is my entire Minecraft folder, it's going to take a moment here. Think, 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 think. I'll be back in a moment. Okay, that took just a moment, but it's done now. Um, and uh, so now that we've got our s files saved and uh, uh, s safely put away somewhere else, um, most people will have you say that all you really need to do to update is to uh, um, choose Force Update when you log in. I'll show you where that is in a moment. Um, but uh, if you use a lot of different mods and you switch between them frequently, Sometimes it can just leave things in your jar, you can forget things in, in the mods folder, and it's just a mess. So what I like to do to be absolutely 100% sure that I'm going to have a clean install when I've been messing with a whole bunch of things is I will delete everything in the Minecraft folder. See? All gone. Just all you need to do at this point is um, open up your Minecraft and uh, you'll have to put in your username and password again. And uh, at this point you'll log in so that Minecraft can uh, download itself again into that .minecraft folder um, and just be absolutely clean from the base as Minecraft is intended. And there we go. It's all done. We can quit this out here. Now what we're going to do is now we're going to run the H the MC patcher. Yes, run. This is MC patcher. It um, provides a, a variety of different things: HD textures, font, uh, um, connected textures, random mobs, um, very texture pack centric, um, but a lot of neat things it can do. Now you can also install Better Than Wolves using the MC patcher. To do that, you have to um, press this little plus button down here, and let's see here, let's get to where all my files are. Now the first thing we're going to want to install is going to be Mod Loader. There's Mod Loader. There's the most recent one too. And it's going to ask you if you want to add all of these and you go say okay. Next we're going to go and um, select the um, let's see here mods there we go select the BTW mod and uh, 3.9b is the most recent one right now. Um, now Better Than Wolves has uh, two different folders within it, zip files, so you don't really need the Forge SRC file, you only need the stuff in the Minecraft jar file. So select the Minecraft jar, hit OK, and it's going to say all of these, yes, we all want all of those. Make sure before you, use, before you tell the MC Patcher to do its thing that Mod Loader is first, BTW mod 3.9b or, or whatever version you may be using is next and then whatever p parts you want to select from the MC patcher that MC patcher comes with. If it looks like this, 
you're ready and go ahead and press patch. It's going to ask you, there's conflicts between mod loader and better than wolves, that only the files from better than wolves will be used. This is correct. You want it to be this way, say yes. And think. Ta-da! You now should have a um, better than wolves modded save. And so, we'll log in one more time. I still have uh, default textures, not multiplayer, single player. We'll create a new world. We'll even, uh, once it's here, we'll pause for just a moment and big screen it so you can see. All right, and uh, let's just get enough wood here in this little new world just to verify that we can make a gear. That's the easiest way to make sure. I suppose I could have gone into creative and uh, um, made uh, and just looked at the menu there and make sure the items were there, but this will work too. We have a crafting table, and then we have sticks. Do, 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 do. And we have gears. Better Than Wolves has been successfully installed. Now all you need to do in order to use the texture pack, once you've downloaded it, is go to texture packs, open texture pack folder, and this will take you to the texture pack folder in your .minecraft, and uh, simply place the zip file of whatever texture pack you would like to use into this, um, into this folder right here. And uh, that's all you need to do. I'll be back in a moment with uh, how to build the mob farm that I've built in the past. All right, and uh, here I've uh, made myself a little bit of a creative world here. The other um, thing I've been asked to show people a lot is uh, how I made the mob farm that uh, is in my test world for uh, the updates, the Better Than Wolves updates. Um, it's a very, very simple design, um, and one that I've seen all over YouTube, really, just with a little bit of a, um, a Better Than Wolves spin to it. Um, what you want to do is you want to start with a square that has a 3x3 three three interior, so really 5x5. Five five. And probably just leave it open on one side there. I'll fill that in there. Um, and you want to give yourself a little bit of space to um, walk inside of it, so um, just 3 high there, that's fine. Um, and uh, in this space here, um, you're going to want to put hoppers. Let's get that out of the creative inventory here. Put that there because if we try to put a hopper there, it'll just open a hopper inventory like that. Um, and then like that, there. Now, um, this is going to be your central collection point for your mob farm. Um, anything that uh, falls down here, because they should, it's a drop trap, honestly, and just all simple simplicity. Uh, they should be falling onto these hoppers, so anything that falls will go into the hopper. Um, and uh, now mobs need to fall about... 24, 25 blocks, something along those lines, um, in order to die on impact. So um, that's the next step of your towers to uh, build this up um, that many. Uh, see you when I get that high. All right, we have our just drop tower here. Um, yeah, make sure it's smooth on the inside that they don't catch on anything, else you'll get items caught in there. Um, now what we need to do is um, we need to have a way to push the mobs um, towards this center drop, which means we're going to have some water flows. Um, for ease of use, I tend to only like having my water flows be um, too wide. Um, and uh, we're, what we're going to want to do is make a platform that from the edge of this 
hole here all the way out to the end is 8 long because that's how long water will flow without a drop. We don't want the water to flow into the hole, we just want the water to push them to the edge and over. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And we want to do this on all four sides. I tend to like to put it on the left hand side of uh, whatever one I'm looking at, but it doesn't matter too much in particular. And then two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then Three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. There we go. All right. Um, and in order to make sure they don't escape, we'll need at least two high walls on these. I'm just going to do one here of each so that you all get the idea. Oh, not there. And just and uh, then we want a spawning platform. If we just make these eight by eight spawning platforms here, um, actually it'll be here because that'll be a wall. So then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. As you can see this will line up with this channel here. Um, so that you have four flat areas where mobs can spawn that will then they'll eventually fall into these water channels here or that will be here and um, just be good places to spawn. I'm going to fill this out a little bit so you can see how it looks um, and I don't have to do this in the dark and I'll be right back. Okay guys, and uh, we have our spawning platforms taken care of here. Um, sort of looks like a little bit of a pinwheel of death, doesn't it? Isn't that fun? Um, now if uh, you're just doing this in vanilla, um, not too much more you need to add, but uh, since this is better than wolves, we're going to add a little bit extra. Just uh, I need to go and find the proper block. There it is. In um, Better Than Wolves, we have this block called a vine trap. Vine traps are um, made, obviously, from vines, three in a row, and um, you can place them um, like half slabs against blocks. Now, um, while they're not solid blocks, and you'll fall absolutely straight through, see? Um, fall, see? Just straight through. Mobs aren't smart enough to know that um, these are not solid blocks, so um, they will um, think it's just solid block right there. And they go, la 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 la, whoops, oh noes. Oh noes, help, 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 no! And that is the mob experience is brought to you by the cuteness. Um, and uh, so we just uh, put water in uh, each of these channels and uh, cover the channels with vine traps. There, okay. And do the vine trap thing. Yeah, might as well just cover all of these blocks here. We'll even do this. Cover the middle so that they try to walk on it. Do, do, do. All sorts of little steps that I wish I could do faster. Either way, the next step once I get all of these vine traps placed is um, we're going to start building the outer walls um, along the back of the water channels there just uh, to, 
close this entire space because if we're going to have mobs spawning we need it to be dark um, we also are only going to make the um, walls of the enclosure too high um, I do this because um, I don't want to deal with Endermen in my overworld farms Endermen have a specific place in the world for them and that is the end um, so that is where they're going to live and where I'm going to encourage them to stay so we make two high walls here do, 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 do. And uh, then the ceiling will just go over the top like that once uh, we have um, all that going. And that's basically all there is to it. Um, this is an expandable design. Um, if uh, you really want, you can um, have just add another floor. I have this roof here be the floor of the next level um, instead of water channels uh, uh, actually yeah instead of water channels just leave vine traps on top of the two wide opening here um, and just ha have them fall straight through two layers of vine traps to the water channels here um, and uh, just have floor upon floor upon floor of mob trap that's all you really need to do um, yeah but uh this has been a tutorial video from Morvalira. I uh, hope you guys learned something from it, and I hope it's useful to you. Uh, Morvalira out.